Hi, I'm Jackie. I'm Liz, and today we're here to talk to you about It's not illegal to have sex outside in Canada, but it is if you get caught. Don't do anything illegal. You can land up to two years in jail. That's a long time just to have sex outside. Just to have sex outside. So yeah. Only because it's, you know, public indecency and it can't, you know. Yes. So. Indecent exposure. Oh, there. Plus a number of different other hair, things different. depending on where you are. Yeah. Everywhere's got different weird laws. Rules. Yeah. Yeah. So just watch your ass. <laughs> I find it that it, the quieter you're trying to be, the more intense it is. So, so it's you know, quite sexy. If you want to be an exhibitionist, go to the places that welcome that exactly. type of sexual behavior. Okay? Don't <clears throat> don't just put that out there on everyone. There's a number of different uh, resorts and hotels and beaches. outings and beaches <laughs> that support and welcome that type of thing. So mm -hmm. absolutely. Fun. Of course. Totally not uh, not anything that anyone's going to judge in those areas. We're going to get down to, to a few specifics. So there's camping. Camping's always fun. Actually one of the best, right? Oh, just the fresh air mm. and, you know, all the calm nature so around So quiet you. and peaceful oh, and it's just relaxing. Oh, it's so Sitting good. even by the fire. So sexy. Sexy. Very. But you definitely need to watch out where you're doing it. Yeah. You can watch out for ticks, poop, bears, spiders, everything. If you go <laughs> off trail, you really need to watch out for yes. animals of all kinds, animal shit. In your tent is best, honestly, right? In a sleeping bag, you can do what's called pig in a blanket. It's where the two of you are wrapped up together in a blanket and then, you know, and you're in the air, you know, or you're right and it's the friction and the rubbing and the woo is enough because it's yes. intense and it's and it's quiet you gotta be quiet when you're doing it when you're quiet. camping because the sound just travels and everyone Ooh. hears everything especially if you're doing it around a lake okay oh, everyone yeah, across, the, across lake the lake will hear everything yeah. you don't make friends that way <laughs> or you can make some really good friends I guess it depends on the campsite you're there at. There you go. Okay, see? so fair enough. Fair enough. Good point, Jack. <laughs> the beach. Um, going to the beach, you know, is always fun. Again, okay, timing. Timing is everything. Yeah. Shelter is everything. Yes. If it's not a beach that welcomes that type of behavior right then and there, then, you know, find some rocks or a little cave mm -hmm. or something out of the way, cave out of people's cool. eye, right? Um, make sure you bring towels. Yeah, because um, sand, sand in those areas there. is not okay. Not so fun. make sure you're bringing a towel or you're bringing a blanket or something. The no wet spot blanket. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. You can Perfect. You can take it anywhere, actually, and, you know, it picks up all of your extra... Well, it doesn't get wet. It doesn't, you know, you can, like, pour water on it, and it yeah. just beads it's away, off. and it doesn't, you know, it it's a, it's brilliant. You need to look it up online, www.nowetspot.com. Mm -hmm. And myself. they're perfect for camping. They're perfect for sex outdoors. They're perfect for the beds of trucks, and they're perfect for under the stars. And oh, they're perfect, yes. oh, They're perfect for your bed. They're perfect for everything. Uh, one person I know actually just uses it as a dog blanket because, like, for the back of the car. Sex in a pool. Lots of people think, oh, oh yeah, that's going to be the fucking best. But you know what? The chlorine, you need to be careful because chlorine can really, really affect your lady bit. Or it can. It can. I know some people are going to come at us and say, oh, no, we have sex in the pool all the time and it's fine. Lucky you. Yeah. I know that in my experience, you get super dry and it does fuck with you and it's not okay. So best part would be either the stairs, if you have stairs, or pool side on the lounge chairs. Also, same with hot tubs. Um, be careful because they have a lot of bacteria in them. You know, same with pool, uh, ocean, any kind of water, really. You just need to be aware. Some people do it. I've done it. And, you know, the one time I did it, I was lucky and fine. But it's just it, like, it it's, just increases the risk yes. is all. One of my favorites has always been under the stars. Mm. I used to love going into the fields, taking a blanket, and just middle of the night. And I loved down a uh, back road mm. that like you know a deserted back yes. road at, over here, kind of under the stars, like you know in a truck. In a truck, in a car. You know, but yeah. again, you need to make sure you have blankets, and probably not in the middle of the day. <laughs> and also be aware of no trespassing. 
actually, I'm from Texas, and I actually almost got shot one time. So, you know, you got to be careful of whose property you're going on to, where you're going. Be aware of where you're parking, for sure. Oh, graveyards! <laughs> but again, that can be, that's obviously trespassing. You're doing it after hours mm -hmm. when you shouldn't be there. We're not encouraging that at all. At all. Okay, parks. And I do mean like children's parks with like the whole jungle gym and stuff like that. I know it sounds super dirty. It can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Take advantage of the swings. But bring like a tea towel or a, like a small blanket, a pillowcase maybe. Uh, maybe some wet wipes if it's one of those leathery looking, you know, ones or something that will go a long way. What's the That's thing right. that goes around? The, the merry-go-round? The merry-go-round. Yeah. Yeah, that was challenging. But yeah, yeah, no shit. But that would kind of be very so sick. Drive-in? Oh! I wish we had drive in we did, and I worked there when I was 16, and it was oh, the fucking I bet you it was the best. best! That was so much we fun. We know what Liz did. Oh my god, yeah, you know what I did. <laughs> One of my other favorites was always on the whole balcony. Oh yeah, but balconies and porches. Sound carries greatly, especially when you're on a balcony. Sound, yeah. Because it'll bounce off the other buildings, right? Oh. Make sure you also kind of dress for the occasion, too. Like, things like your bathing suit when you're doing poolside, you can just, like, sort of pull that aside. Uh, skirts are your best friend, okay? Pants don't work so well. Dresses are perfect, right? Total discretion. People can't necessarily see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You can be, like, you know, fingering underneath something. Sorry, that is so cute. Fuck! I agree, though. Having when you can do it under the table and people don't realize what's going on. Yeah. Missionary is not always best for these types of things because then no one's paying attention to anything else going around. Mm -hmm. And you need that lookout. If you're going to go somewhere that, you know, is normally people would be, choose a choose a proper hour. Three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning is so much better at the mall parking lot than five thirty on a Saturday. <laughs> Timing is everything. We love sex outside. It is one of the best. So So okay. Wrapping so it up. Stay healthy. Keep it wrapped up. And happy humping. <laughs>